What's going on guys? Jerry here. Um, I got this new um, Innovative Technologies um, 6-in-1 Nostalgic Entertainment Center. That's the model number there. ITVS 200B. And it obviously is what it looks like. But the thing is, if my parents had these old records and they got rid of the record player and their uh, cassette player and stuff like that, which is on the side. And record player works fine, like I'll show you. But, like, like it works. This is a Beatles record, by the way. Like it works fine. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and it turns off fine. The only problem with it is when it gets to a certain point, like at the end of a song, see what cuts out? And I'm not touching it. It just cuts out. And it'll do that while it's playing a song. See, so watch. It'll cut out sooner or later. Come on. I'd laugh if it doesn't this time. No, well, it's been, yeah, right there. And it does it, like this is, um, on it. It's on that song right now, Matchbox. And it has, it usually stops on the starting of the last song, which would be Roll Over Beethoven. But, for some reason, even on this record, it wants to stop on Matchbox. Uh, I looked all over the internet, and it still doesn't show me. Um, hopefully, somebody that actually knows more about these things can find this video and tell me, because I have no clue. Um, like they're fine records, like as you like. It's not this record because I could put in another record, and I've done probably like 20 records in this thing. And all of them stop at either the middle of the second last song or the last song. Definitely. So, I don't know. Like, even if I pick it up and start moving, it stops again. You know, like, but when you're on the uh, 45s setting, and we have a 45 record, which is right there, and they have the piece. I just have it sitting on it for no reason, but um, when you have the 45 piece sitting in there and then you have it spinning around, it'll do the same thing, but if you bring it back, put it back in the same spot, then it'll start turning again. If you do again, then, you know, but I don't know. Like the rest of the system works great. And like I said, oh, like, like I said, the rest of the record. Gotta use it. It's gotta be but, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. And it can't be a f malfunction in a thing. I think it's something to do with the pick. Um, now what I looked up on the internet is that um, the lines get too close together. But these records used to play all the time in my dad's stereo. And of course this is like a cheaper like stereo because it's everything, right? It's six and one, but... Still, it should play all the way to the end of the record. I looked at other people that reviewed it. So said, oh yeah, the place in the end of the record fine. So I don't know what's going on with mine. Hope somebody can tell me. And yeah, it's a beautiful looking thing. It looks beautiful. It has great sound. It's just that. Everything else works on it. CDs, uh, your radio. Um, I haven't tested the 75 record because I don't have any of those. Uh, but, anyways, um, yeah, everything else works, radio, uh, cassettes, it's just the end of the record for some reason. On all my records, it seems to do that. I don't have any new records, nevertheless, it still should play all the way to the end because they used to play. They haven't been, like, sandpapered, you know, so. Uh, yeah, I hope somebody can reply back soon. And, yeah, so, I'll see you later in the next one.